Today's lesson is called From Adam to Jesus. Now, who knows who Adam was? Dominic, I saw your hand go first. The first person on earth. He was the first one. When back, way back in Genesis, God created the heavens and the earth. God created all the animals. God created everything. And one of the last things that he created, he created a man. And the man's name was Adam. And then after that, he created Eve. Who knows who Eve was? Raina. She was, a, uh, she was the first girl on earth. She was the first girl on earth. And she was Adam's wife. She was Adam's wife. And every one of you came from Adam and Eve. Every one of you came from Adam and Eve. I came from Adam and Eve. You know what that means? We're all related. We're all brothers and sisters. Every one of us. We're all family. So how can we be mean to each other when we're all family? I know. Matthias has got it in his mind. He says, wait a minute. My brothers are mean to me. My brother's mean to me. Yeah, Naya's brother's mean to her. My brother's mean to me. Oh, yeah, here we go. Wah, 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 wah. My brother, my sister's are mean to me. I'll bet that most of you guys are mean to your brothers and sisters, too. But here's the thing. It's wrong to be mean to your brothers and sisters. It's wrong. And that means, even though before yesterday, I didn't know these two guys. But guess what? They're my brothers. These two guys here, they're my brothers. You guys are brothers and sister. Here. That needs to be back on your shirt. But come here. Do we look alike? in your family. 
Now, who has ever had somebody make a promise to them? When somebody makes a promise to you and they keep their promise quickly or their promise comes true quickly, that's cool, right? What happens if they delay? What happens if they wait? Um, well, whenever somebody makes a promise to me and either they break it or they make me wait, I get a little anxious. You do. You, you, you get a little anxious. Yeah. And especially now, okay, you guys, who knows what a microwave oven is? We didn't have microwave ovens when I was your age. They weren't invented yet. Seriously. They, they were not invented yet. A microwave. It's a microwave oven. We call it a microwave. We didn't have microwaves when I was a kid. They weren't invented yet. That is sad. We had to wait and wait and wait. We didn't have cell phones. No. no. We had a phone that was hung on the wall. And sometimes many families had to share phone, a phone number. Um, you can get water right back there. Thing is, we like things to happen right away. Sometimes you gotta wait. David did not see God's promise in his lifetime, because God said there will always be a king in your family. A thousand years later. Who, is, who in here is a thousand years old? Mm -mm. Nobody. 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 There, God, is, God has no age. There is nobody in this church that is a thousand years old. In fact, Nobody in the Bible ever lived to be a thousand years old. So, some guys got close, but nobody ever lived to be a thousand. Oh, you got a boo boo? Why don't you sit down and we'll take care of the boo boo afterward, okay? Thousand years later, God kept his promise. in a man called Jesus. Now, who, I asked somebody to look up Matthew 1.1. 1, 1. Did somebody do that? You don't have to read it because there's, it's going to be some tough reading. Maybe, maybe read three verses. Listen, listen up, listen to Matthias. Real loud. Read Jesus the Messiah. Messiah. Is that, is that three verses? Let's see. Ah, let's, yeah, go, just keep reading on down to here. Abraham was the father of Isaac. Uh, Isaac was the father of Jacob. Jacob was the father of Judah. Judah was the father of Priyad. Uh, Priyad, yeah. Uh, Nira. A lot of names in there, right? Tough names. Don't worry, don't worry about it. But that's what Matthew chapter one is. This guy was the father of this guy. This guy was the father of this guy. This guy was the father of this guy. Now that's pretty impressive that they knew who people were. Does anybody know what that's called when you know who all your family is? Do you know what? Do you know what that's called? Do you know what it's called? You know what it's called? Family tree. Family tree. Excellent. That's family tree. That's exactly what it's called. You know? Yes. At any time, as long as it's free. Now there's a uh, there's a fancier name for it. Family tree. And it's called genealogy. Genealogy. And the Bible is full of. And that's what you see in Matthew chapter 1, is a genealogy, a family tree. It tells who was the father of who, and who was the father of this person. And I put up a family tree here. This is my family tree. That's a family? This is my name. This is when I was born. This is my dad. 
This is my mom, my grandfather, my grandmother, my grandfather, my grandmother, my great grandfather, my great great grandfather, my great 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 grandfather. Go up here, my mother, my grandfather, my great grandfather, my great great grandfather, my great 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 grandfather, my great 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 grandfather. I got my family tree going all the way back to 1775. That was before the United States became a nation. Now, this is pretty cool. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven generations. In Matthew chapter one, they go back 42 generations. 42 generations. This only goes back 200 years. 250 years. Jesus' genealogy goes all the way back to Adam. All the way back to Adam. They've got it traced. And the reason that they did that, though, is to show that God made a promise. And when God makes a promise, God will always keep his promises. It doesn't matter how long it takes. God always keeps his promise. Now, what was so special about Jesus? That he was a king. What, what, what was special about that? He was the son of God. He was the son of God, exactly. And because he was the son of God, what happened after Jesus died? No more. I don't want to see that again. What happened after Jesus died, Raina? He went to heaven. He went to heaven. Did he stay there? Actually, he didn't go to heaven. Not yet. Getting closer. Josiah, did you have something? He died on the cross. What happened three days later, though? He was alive.
Are you going to be a friend of Jesus? Yes. yes. Or are you going to be an enemy of Jesus? No. Because there's no middle ground. There's either friend or enemy. Now, how do you be a friend of Jesus? You be a friend of Jesus by saying, Jesus, I want you to take control of my life. Jesus, I want you to be the king of my life. And then we obey Jesus in everything that we do. Now, does that mean that you're not does that mean that you, you will never make a mistake? No, it doesn't mean that. I wish it did. But you know what? We're humans. We're all we're all humans. We all make mistakes. We all do dumb things. We all do things that we wish we didn't do. You know what that's called it when we when we uh, when we do something against God? You know what that's called? Eric. Sin? It's called sin, exactly. And everybody sins. But when you have a, when you sin, you have somebody that says, hey, I'm looking out for you. That person is Jesus. And all you have to do is, first of all, you stop what you're doing. You've got to stop your sinning. And then you say, God, I'm sorry for my sins. <laughs> Dominic, what happens if I do something to you? Now, this is going to be pretend. This is going to be pretend. I come up to Dominic and I bam, and I hit him. And I go, oh, I'm sorry, Dominic. And then I look around and go, bam, bam and I hit him again. Was I really sorry? No, I wasn't. In order to prove that, I'm not, you're not going to believe me when I, when I, oh, I'm sorry, Dominic. Are you going to believe me? No. No, why? Because you literally did it twice. And then I keep doing it, right? So you're not going to believe me. How do I get you to believe me? Well, for you to actually stop doing stop it. Stop doing it. Exactly. That is how when God, when we say I'm sorry, God, for sinning, we've got to stop doing it. It's like... Josiah, would you stand over here? Let's pretend that Josiah is God, and I turn my back on him, and I'm walking away from him. I want nothing to do with Josiah. That's sin. Turning my back on God, that's sin. I stop and I, what am I doing? This is dumb. I shouldn't do this. I stop and I turn around. And I begin to walk back. Okay, sorry. See, it's not... You can go sit down. Thank you. It's not enough to just say sorry, but just stop what you're doing. You turn your back on the wrong things that you were doing, and you walk back to God. You know what that's called? Repentance. You know what, you know what it's called? What's it called? It's called repentance. Now that's a fancy word. It starts by saying, I'm sorry. But it's more than just saying, I'm sorry. It's I stop, I stop hitting Dominic. And I start treating Dominic right. That's repentance. When we stop sinning against God and we start obeying him, that's repentance. And that's what pleases God. That's how you can be a friend of Jesus. Because when Jesus is coming back, he's coming back for those that he calls his friends. And there's my shut up alarm. It's time for Dave to stop. Here's the thing. Here's what I want you to know this morning. Number one, God always keeps his promises. It may take a long time and we all get impatient, but God always keeps his promises. Number two, Jesus was God's promise to King David. God said that David would always have a king in his family, and Jesus was that king, and Jesus is that king. And I say is because number three, Jesus is going to come back. And he's coming back to, for his friends. So number four, how do we be his friends? We're his friends if we obey God. 
We're his friends if we make Jesus the king of our lives. And we do whatever he says to do. I want you all to bow your heads and close your eyes. Father, we thank you for this time that we have been able to learn of you. We thank you, Lord, for your promises. We know that you always keep your promises. And Lord, you have promised us that if we repent of our sins, that you will be faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and not hold our sins against us anymore. And Father, we do. We are sorry for our sins. And we want to turn from our sins and we want to obey you at all times. I pray, Lord, that you would come into our hearts and that you would become the king of our hearts, that you would become the king of our lives, that whatever you tell us to do, we will do. And Lord, we thank you for everything that you've given to us. We thank you for this day and all of your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Amen.